This video is intended for entertainment purposes only. What I'm simply showing you here is my results, what happened to me under doctor's supervision. So what I would say is go to your doctor, go to your physician, ask them what you need to do for your specific situation because everybody's different and everybody will have different results. Okay, so with that being said, this is video part two. To summarize video one, if you wanna go ahead and see that, go into my video history. If you click on the icon of me, you'll see my past videos. It's literally the video just before this one. Go to video one, see what the results were. But to summarize that, dihydromyricetin was given to a bunch of lab rats, lab mice. And basically after taking it, what happened was, was they lost, those lab rats that were taking it, on a high fat diet actually lost body fat. So even though they were eating a high fatty diet, they lost body fat and lost weight. The ones that were not taking this and given a high fat diet gained body fat and gained weight. So taking this in the lab rats situation resulted in the lab rats losing body fat, losing weight. So I went to my doctor, I said, hey, should I take this? Should I not take this? What do you recommend? So under doctor supervision, I took this for four months checking in with the doctor periodically, doing my body fat percentage, doing my muscle mass, doing a whole bunch of other numbers that are probably irrelevant right now. But these were my results. To quickly summarize, after four months of taking this, I lost 8.2 pounds of total body weight. I lost 1.6% body fat. I lost 0.3% muscle mass. Now keep in mind, all these numbers are to be taken with a grain of salt. We had the holidays, right? We had Thanksgiving, we had Christmas, we had Valentine's Day. There was a bunch of sweets involved in there. You get the idea. Also, salt, right? Water, carbs, all these things play a part in your water retention, your water total composition. So all these numbers are to be taken with a grain of salt. Did I drink water the night before the weigh-in? Did I completely evacuate my bowels before I did the weigh-in? Did I eat carbs and then drink a ton of water before the weigh-in? You know, all these factors contributed to this. So that's why we're doing this video. This is part two of what I actually did when I took the stuff, how I took it. You get the idea. Things that I think would probably make a difference in the results. So normal day, right? Normal day. I wake up, I go to the bathroom. I try to do some kind of protein shake. So two scoops of protein powder, 50 grams of protein. Usually there's some kind of simple simple fruit in there like pineapple, mango, what is it? Strawberry, peach. There's like a tropical blend at Costco. I try to throw a cup of that in with the two scoops of protein powder in with, some days it's milk, some days it's coconut water, some days it's just water. But wake up, go to the bathroom, protein shake. Immediately after the protein shake, I try to take a potassium, right? Sometimes with the protein shake, whatever, a cup of water, same time, and then get out. I get out of the house. It's walking, it's cycling, it's going to the gym, it's doing something that is physically active. If I decide to do the cardio, it's usually low intensity, steady state cardio. That's usually walking for about 45 minutes to an hour. Some in that ballpark, about a mile, mile and a half, give or take. If it's cycling, I try to do anywhere between five to 10 miles, sometimes more, for about the same time frame, like anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour. If I go to the gym, let's say I'm gonna, let's say I'm gonna wake up, go to the bathroom, protein shake, potassium, go to the gym. The potassium is gonna help prevent the muscle cramping. Also helps just in general prevent muscle cramping during any physical activity. So I go to the gym. Within I'd say 45 minutes of waking up, I'm at the gym. And when I'm at the gym, I do a pre-workout. NutriCost makes a great pre-workout. I put a link down in the description section down below. I've done videos on it, so make sure to check those out. So I do a pre-workout, do a nice little stretch. The pre-workout kicks in, boom, I'm working out. Typically what I'll do is two days of working out, one day off. So my two days of working out, I usually alternate between chest and shoulder right now. So chest would be the first, let's say Monday is chest day. I do heavy weights, low reps. Second day, I do shoulders, heavy weights, low reps. Third day, I'm doing no gym, but I'm doing cardio stuff. Low intensity, steady state cardio, or I'm doing cycle riding, you know, that kind of vibe. I do not take a pre-workout on the cardio day because there's, there's no need for it. I don't need the extra energy that the pre-workout gives me. I only take the pre-workout when I go to the gym. Okay, so then the cycle repeats. And then Sunday, right? So I do that two cycles in a row and then Sunday is completely day off. I do whatever I want. I eat whatever I want. 
Sunday's my day off. Anything, no holds barred. That's like my recoup, replenish day, guilty pleasure day, cheat day, whatever you want to call it. Sunday, I just do whatever. Okay, so when do I take this? Originally, when I started taking this and I started seeing some results, what I was doing was, was I was taking two at breakfast time, right? Two with the protein shake in the morning. Saw some results, went back to the doctor. Doctor said, okay, well, if you're seeing some results, let's see what happens if you take two more. So I was taking two for breakfast and then two for lunch, right? Saw some results. And then I went back to the doctor. Doctor said, okay, if you want, take two more. So two for breakfast, two for lunch, two for dinner, right? I plateaued. I feel like I plateaued. I wasn't, I wasn't losing any more weight by taking any more of this product. So I backed off right under doctor supervision. And even, even under my own advice, I said, you know what? If, I'm just wasting money at that point. So I was taking only two for two for breakfast, right? Two with the protein shake and two for lunch. Then my results plateaued again. And I said, okay, well, let me just take two for lunch. Lunch was like the heaviest meal for me. So that's when I was taking this product. So from, if you're still watching the video and you want a full day summary, here it goes. What I ask, please, is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, wherever that is down below, comment in the comment section, post up those comments, ask me those questions. Or if you have an idea for a future video, post that down below in the comment section. I'll definitely entertain the idea of making your comment into a video of its own. Okay, so let's go through a full day of eating, working out, doing whatever. So wake up, go to the bathroom, protein shake, potassium, right? Do my cardio or go to the gym. It's one or the other. Either I'm going to the gym for two days and then doing the cardio on the third day, walking, cycling, you get the idea. Gym days are chest and shoulder. When I come back from whatever physical activity I did, that that's when it's time for lunch. So what I do for lunch is I take one of the dihydromyricetin, I take two nitric oxides, and then I have lunch. Lunch is usually protein, carbs, and vegetables. Protein is six to eight ounces of some kind of protein. Chicken, fish, salmon, cod, whatever I can find on sale. I'm broke, I'm out of work, and I'm looking for the best deals. <laughs> By the way, if any of you are hiring any camera operators or cameramen, in the movie industry, hook a brother up. I'm looking <laughs> for work. Are you on an episodic television show, commercial, feature film, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon show, you name it. I will be an effing ray of sunshine on your set and just be a joy and delight to work with. But hire me. Contact me through Facebook. There's a link down below. Comment down below. Let me know you're hiring. I'll be more than happy to come out and help you out and, and let's make this happen. All right, so... Protein, six to eight ounces. This is lunch, right? Protein, six to eight ounces of some protein, chicken, fish, whatever I can find, steak, meat, ahi, tuna, whatever. Two cups of carbs. Usually it's rice or pasta. Pasta that I've made myself. Rice is brown rice. Sometimes it's white rice. Sometimes it's uh, arboreal rice. Sometimes it's sushi rice. Just depends. Two cups of vegetables. I wasn't going to give you the middle finger, but I'm not going to go. So two cups of vegetables also go with that meal. Two cups of vegetables. What is that? It rotates. Sometimes I get the Normandy mix from Costco. Sometimes I get the, I think it's the Asian mix from, or the stir fry mix from Costco. So the stir fry mix is broccoli. What is it? Green bean, water, chestnut, carrot, something like that. And then the Normandy mix is broccoli, cauliflower, carrot, and then some other stuff. So two cups of vegetables. That's lunch. And I have two of these. Right, fattiest meal of the day, usually because of the meat. The meat's got a lot of uh, fat content, usually, or unless it's lean chicken. But anyways, I have two of these for lunch. And then I have two of these as well, the nitric oxide booster. Okay, then I take a nap. I, I usually do, I usually try to be up and active for about five or 10 minutes, like walk around the house, maybe go walk to the end of the block, come back, try to be active for five minutes just so that food can help in the digestion process. Then I take my nap. Nap is usually half hour, 45 minutes. There was a question, what does this do to affect your dreams or your sleep? This stuff definitely helps with the dream cycle. Dreams are more vivid, more colorful. I felt like I was dreaming for eight hours straight when I was taking this. Okay, so then when I wake up from the nap, I try to be productive, hit social media, answer the comments, go through the questions, 
try to look for work. <laughs> like I said, if you're hiring a cameraman, let me know. So then what I do is dinner time for me is usually five to 5.30. I try not to eat after six. So yes, I am intermittent fasting. When I, when I stop eating at 5.30, let's say I have dinner. So from 6 p.m., let's say, all the way until eight o'clock in the morning the next day, I'm fasting. So that's that answers that question. So before I go to sleep, right? Or let's talk about dinner. So dinner for me is usually protein and vegetables, right? So remember, first meal of the day, protein shake with some with about a cup of fruit. Lunch was six to eight ounces of protein, chicken, fish, meat, whatever. Two cups of carbs, hopefully complex carbs, rice, brown rice, sweet potato, pasta that I made at home myself, maybe some sourdough bread that I made at home myself. Then I have two cups of the vegetables, right? Usually in my case, it's broccoli, green bean, cauliflower, carrot, water, chestnut. You get the idea. Third meal is dinner. So dinner for me is protein and vegetables. That's it. So protein is six to eight ounces of protein, chicken. Maybe I'll do a tuna salad. Maybe I'll do, if I can afford it, some kind of meat, right? New York steak, flank steak, ribeye steak, whatever I can find, pork tenderloin, grill it up, fry it, whatever. And then two cups of vegetables again, broccoli, string beans, carrot, mushroom, just mix it up. Two cups of vegetables or, and, or I might have a salad, like just a simple green salad, just green leaf, lettuce, whatever it is, spring mix, whatever, just a simple salad with like oil and vinegar, that kind of vibe. Something pretty lean and healthy. So pretty much I'm eating pretty clean and lean throughout the day. There's really not a whole lot of junk in there. I cheat once in a while. Sunday for me, Sunday for me is like whatever. Sunday for me is like in and out pizza, deep dish, Chicago, <laughs> you name it. Sunday, I just eat whatever I want and I don't pay attention to the rules or whatever. I, I need to get those cravings out. Cheat meal, cheat day, whatever you want to call it. Sunday is that day. I'm not even going to go into what that is. Maybe in the future I will, but for now, we'll leave it at that. So protein shake for breakfast, protein, carbs, vegetables for lunch, protein and vegetables for dinner. Around two hours before I go to bed, I'll take my magnesium. My magnesium helps to help me fall asleep. The magnesium also helps to prevent muscle cramps at night. So that's what I take. Usually this I take during lunch. I take the two pills because it was diminishing returns after that. When I started taking four, when I started taking six, I wasn't seeing any higher increase in fat loss or higher increase in body fat loss than just taking the two. So two really is the recommended dose there and you get the idea. Anyways, if you stuck through this video to the end, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check out some links to some pretty cool products down there below. I did put a link to all this stuff. I put a link to the protein powder that I use. I put a link to the pre, to the pre-workout that I use. I put a link to the nighttime stack of supplements that I use. Everything that I use and that I've tested and that I approve of, everything that I've done videos on in the positive sense is down there in the description there down below. Links to everything is down there. If you go into the video history, you can catch all the playlists and all the videos that I've done about working out, about backpacking, camping, about cooking, all that kind of great stuff is all there in the video history and all in the playlists. Anyways, I'm Kuda Malloy and I will catch you all. Hit that like button on the next exciting adventure.